Finally, following up on its much-praised 1987 album, In My Tribe, the group has released a new LP called Blind Man's Zoo, which is already ensconced in the Billboard Top 30. And on Tuesday, they set out to back it up with the biggest tour of their eight-year career. We caught up with them at rehearsals in Poughkeepsie, New York, and came back with this preview. It's a life-threatening situation here on the Hudson. Well, not really, but a quick hour off on the banks of the loudly burbling river were about all the free time that singer Natalie Merchant had before she and 10,000 Maniacs kicked off their summer tour. Rehearsals came first. Oh, baby, like baby, 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 baby. This is the biggest tour of the band's eight-year career, and it's in support of what the group hopes will be its biggest album, the brand new Blind Man Zoo. Like the Maniac's last LP, the almost platinum In My Tribe, Blind Man Zoo, with his songs about war, teen pregnancy, and the world's ravaged environment, is folk rock at its most thoughtful. I don't want to confuse people and make them think that I'm taking upon the, I'm taking the role upon myself to be a spokesperson for anyone other than myself. But I'm just hoping that this one person with these thoughts and these feelings We'll find something in common with other people. Merchant also put a lot of thought into the Maniac's latest video for Trouble Me, a song about the value of old people that she wrote when her own father recently became ill. I wanted the video to convey something that was so pure and honest as a friendship between myself and these elderly women and um, how much potential there is there for friendship. When the video was over, they were not quite sure what it was they'd done because, because they kept on asking, now, is it a short film with music? Will, will this be on in the mo movie theater? Or I don't quite understand. Can we, is this a short film? <laughs> and I would say it's a music video. And none of them had any concept of what a music video was. It's so fun. There is more to 10,000 Maniacs than Natalie Merchant, of course. What do the boys in the band think of her being the group's almost sole focus? Who else is in uh, in excess? I don't think anybody knows their names particularly. So, you know, and they're successful, but they're they're a band, they're brothers. A couple of the guys in the band. So um, th that's the not it's the easy way out is to have a focal point and a front person to take uh, to take the reins. We're lucky that Natalie is as good at it as she is. And where does the sterling front woman look for musical inspiration? Not to the pop charts, apparently. I went to the health food store today and it was run by an Indian man. And I'm really interested in Indian film music now. And he took me through all these boxes of cassettes of Indian chanteuses. And, and um, that, to me, is exciting. And it's what I'm listening to right now. And I don't think I can get much from my stage person <laughs> from the <laughs> 10,000 Maniacs will be mounting a three-night stand in Boston this coming week, starting on Tuesday.